Hey, what's up? Pete's Loving Nerd here. Today, I'm going to show you how to completely customize your Spotify experience using extensions, themes, and even custom apps built upon Spotify using a tool called Spicedify. What this does is takes your Spotify app and basically applies some stuff on top of it and lets you completely customize it. To install it, we're going to head to the website right here. If you're on Windows, just run this PowerShell script, or you can use a package manager like Chocolatey, Scoop, or Winget. And then if you're on Mac or Linux, which is what I'm on, there's an install script right here, or you can use Homebrew or Linux Brew, or if you're on Arch, or if you're on Arch, uh, you can run these commands to enable permissions from Spotify, and then you can install it from the AUR. It is worth noting, you cannot use the Spotify Snap for this, so you'll have to use Flatpak or Apt. And also, if you're using Flatpak, there are some extra steps. So, I'm just gonna run the script real quick. I'm using the Flatpak, by the way. Do you know there is an inherent risk of running random sh scripts from the internet especially when you're piping it directly into sh but for the time being i did audit the code and it looks reliable enough for me for now of course they could overwrite it and add a different script so just keep that in mind not usually wise to just run curl scripts especially again piping it directly into sh but for the sake of the video i'm going to do that anyway now i already installed it earlier so this isn't an issue for me but if you go ahead and run Spicedify, it won't do anything as soon as you're done installing until you restart either your terminal program or just type bash to get a new shell. That's just because it adds itself to your path and your shell needs to be refreshed in order for it to be detected in your path. And now finally, because I'm on the flat pack of Spotify, I have a few extra steps. So I need to run Spicedify-C to generate the new config file that we're going to edit. Now we're going to go in and edit our config. We're going to want to set our Spotify path to where it is on Flatpak. Here's it did that automatically for me. And then you need to set your Spotify preferences directory. It can be either of these two, so you will want to check yourself, but I already checked earlier, and for me it's this one. Do note though, you need to expand it yourself and have an absolute path. You can't use this tilde. So instead of the tilde right here, we're gonna type slash home and then slash your username. Let's apply that. And then finally, we're going to give uh, read and write perms to these Flatpak directories right here. Next up, we are going to want to install the Marketplace. You can technically skip this step, but then if you want to install any extensions or themes, you need to do it manually. So adding the Marketplace makes it easier to install stuff and gives you just a nice general store where you can quickly add stuff and discover new extensions and plugins. To do this, we just need to run another script. Again, fair warning, we're running random SH scripts, but we're gonna do it anyway. And it's done now. Now we just need to run Spicedify backup apply, but once that's done, we're going to see a marketplace in Spotify. After about a minute, uh, Spotify is now patched, and as you can see now, there's this marketplace icon right here, and this is where we will install extensions, themes, apps, and snippets. Extensions are self-explanatory. They just add extra functionality to Spotify, so I'm going to install the song stats one. Full app display modifications, skip stats, that looks interesting. Display full album date, sort by play count. I'm not installing this, who the hell has the time to even make this? Plays a fart with every click. Themes are also pretty self-explanatory. These overhaul the look of Spotify. I have noticed that there are quite a few themes that are a little bit buggy, but I tried a few out and I really like this Bloom theme right here. They have a really nice looking green version, so Let's reload with this theme. And then after you install theme, if we go back, as you can see, there's a different like variants of the theme you can have. So I'm gonna select this beautiful dark green version right here. This theme kind of reminds me of Mac OS a little bit. Snippets, uh, these are just like minor CSS tweaks, basically. They they just do like one small thing. I don't really want any of these, so I'm gonna skip that. And then finally, we have apps. Now uh, these, it's worth noting, you can't directly download from the store. You have to install these manually. But what these apps basically do is where you would have your pages like Home Search and Marketplace, it puts like a full app in those spots for pages. I'm going to be installing the Lyrics Plus app. It's not actually mentioned here, but it's actually included with Spicedify. So we are going to copy that from the Spicedify directory into the .config directory here. And now we just need to run Spicedify config custom, I can't type, apps, and in this case, Lyrics Plus, and we'll apply it, restart Spotify. And now, as you can see, I have this Lyrics tab right here. If I start playing a song or something, I'm not going to play it on YouTube for copyright, but 
as you can see here, we have this nice lyrics app built in right here. We have a synced app, we have an unsynced app, and we have Genius, and I think this includes like the Genius annotations. Yeah, it does. And yeah, it's really easy to use Spiceify to completely transform your Spotify experience and add quite a few enhancements and extensions and things. And I just wanted to share it because uh, I made my Spotify look really sick with it. So that's the video. Thanks to my patron, Sam Covet. Yeah, I only have one patron now because I wasn't uploading. But if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and liking. I'll have more cool programs like this on the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you.